This cairn commemorates Sir Thomas MacDougall Brisbane, who was born in this glen in 1773 and died in Largs in 1860. This cairn was donated by the people of, of Brisbane, Australia and was erected in 1989. Here we have a picture of Brisbane House in Brisbane Glen and Largs as it stood until it was demolished in the 1940s. On the second floor of the house was located the dining room which was adjacent to the kitchens located in the wing to the left of the main house. In the wing to the right of the main house were located the stables and carriage houses on the ground floor and accommodation for staff on the floor above. Here we are at the site of Brisbane House in the Brisbane Glen. This stately home was built in the 17th century and occupied by the Brisbane family from roughly the middle of the 18th century. As we told you before, it was demolished in the 1940s and this is virtually all that is, is left to view. We are standing at the front door of Brisbane House, immediately inside the front door of Brisbane House, and the local farmer's wife has recently uncovered these steps, and as you can see, immediately in front door, inside the front door, there was this flooring of mosaic tiling. And as I kneel here, I think of the, the staff in the house who probably had to scrub this area every morning. This door, salvaged from Brisbane House, is hanging in the model room of the Brisbane Museum. To my left are the ruins of the East Wing, again simply a pile of rubble today overgrown with trees, hawthorn and birch and ash and this was the kitchen accommodation and below underground were the cellars of the Brisbane household. Here we can see an access to the cellars under Brisbane House, where, as I commented, Brisbane was reputed to have stored some of the finest claret in Europe. It is accessible, but rather dangerous, and I believe that uh, the vaults are still worth viewing. And here we can see the lintel of a doorway that was probably an access from the estate grounds to the cellars for the purpose of, of delivering this fine claret. Now standing inside the ruined cellars, the only access to this cellar is a hole in the ground about the size of a, a fox burrow. And the cameraman has crawled in to film what's left of Sir Thomas's cellars. Wine bins, almost 200 years after they were in use, are still numbered. I'm now standing within the perimeter of the walled garden of Brisbane House and all that's left really is to my right the ruins of a potting shed and as you'll see as the camera pans round the remains of the foundations 
of what was probably a glass house. And over the wall to my left still stands the home farm of Brisbane, now known locally as Brisbane Mains Farm and farmed by Mr John Campbell and his wife Valerie. And it's Valerie Campbell who has been responsible for doing some amateur research on the history of the Brisbane's and the Brisbane house. And it was Valerie who in fact cleared the rhododendrons from around the observatory so that we were able to get access to the ruins of that building. I'm standing in the doorway of the observatory built by Sir Thomas Brisbane in the early years of the 19th century. This observatory was built for his astronomical observations as were two meridian pillars to the south of this observatory and the three pillars known locally in Largs as the Three Sisters about a mile as the crow flies south of this observatory. On the site of what's known locally as the Three Sisters and the Three Sisters are in fact three stone columns that Brisbane had erected in 1809 as meridian sighting posts for his observatory at Brisbane House, approximately one mile north of here. Brisbane used these pillars for sighting his telescopes when he was doing his astronomical observations. Standing in the churchyard at Largs, we are now viewing the tomb of the Brisbane family. This tomb was erected in 1634 and therefore not only contains the remains of Sir Thomas MacDougall Brisbane and his successors, but also some of his antecedents. And I would like to read the inscription to Sir Thomas Brisbane. In memory of General Sir Thomas MacDougall Brisbane, Colonel of the 34th Cumberland Regiment of Foot, President of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, DCL of Oxford and Cambridge, and for some years Governor General of New South Wales. Also of Dame Anna Maria MacDougall Brisbane, his wife, daughter of Sir Henry Hay MacDougall, Baronet, and heiress of Macaston. Also in this tomb are the remains of his children and some of the heirs of the Brisbane family. <laughs>